Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with meteorologist Tom Harris. We still had quite a bit of cloud cover across the coastal bend today. You can see that as we take a look at our time lapse camera in Kingsville, right along Highway 77. But uh, clouds started clearing late in the day, much like yesterday. Let's check our other weather bug camera in Rockport at the Texas Maritime Museum. Looks pretty pleasant there also, where it's 81 degrees here in Corpus Christi. We still have a little bit of that cloud cover with a current temperature of 82 degrees. It's breezy. Winds out of the southeast at 21 miles per hour. Other temperatures around the region 90 degrees in Falfurious, 88 in Orange Grove, Ingleside coming in at 83 degrees. These temperatures about 10 degrees warmer than we saw yesterday. So those temperatures did warm up as advertised. You can see the winds blowing out of the southeast 15 to 20 miles per hour. Still going to be pretty breezy in the morning, then breezy to windy again tomorrow afternoon. That does not bode too well with our beach and boating forecast. Small craft exercise caution seas going to be building throughout the day. Three to five feet. Bays slightly to occasionally choppy. We've got this area of low pressure, this cold front, then that's ushering in some much cooler air from the north. Now tomorrow's still going to be pretty warm. Still looking for some clouds, but then Monday night into Tuesday, that's when that front is going to approach. It's going to have some lingering moisture with it. Heaviest shower activity off to our west and then it looks like we're going to have a hurricane in the Gulf and that could be bringing some rain across parts of the upper Texas coast. We'll show you more on that in just a moment. But as far as the showers, heaviest rain to our north and off to our west. Some areas, however, may pick up about a tenth of an inch of rain to maybe quarter of an inch of rain close to that in Beeville. Now here's that cold air, 35 degrees right now in Amarillo, contrasting that with Laredo, 90 degrees. So some big changes are definitely coming and that cold front is important because it's going to be a steering mechanism with our latest tropical storm. This is Zeta and it is down in the Caribbean and it has been strengthening today. Winds are now at 50 miles per hour. It's not really moving much, but it is expected to move right up to the northwest and that'll take it over the Cancun area by Tuesday. It'll be a hurricane in the Gulf and then it's going to move in right around the New Orleans area. Uh, uh, Wednesday afternoon into the evening and then it's going to bring heavy rain along the southeast. Now it is going to impact us also here in South Texas. We'll see higher tides as well as some higher waves. So we'll be watching that storm as it traverses the Gulf. Our forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy and mild. The overnight low of 76 degrees for tomorrow. Partly sunny, warm and breezy. 87 should be the warmest day of the week, but then that front comes in Monday night. Tuesday. Look at that daytime high 67 degrees. Maybe some lingering showers on Wednesday. The remainder of the week is going to be fantastic into next weekend with those daytime highs in the low to mid 70s. Cool overnight in the 50s.